Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. I want to talk about something I picked up at Pacificon. Uh, this is just a, an interesting little uh, maximum PowerPoint solar controller. What's interesting about this, I picked it up, by the way, from ImpulseElectronics.com. Okay, and you can get one there, too. This is a very interesting little device. I want to pay a special thank you to uh, Michael McBride, who is my latest patron at uh, Patreon. If you would like to become a patron yourself, you may by going to patreon.com slash ke0og and pick a method that works for you. Now let's get back to our battery charger. It is designed to charge a, a lithium iron phosphate battery. Now lithium iron phosphate batteries are charged very differently from their lead acid counterparts. The um, lead acid battery, you have a bulk phase, an absorption phase, and a trickle phase, and so on. Uh, and the charger has to accommodate uh, all of those because the 12 volt, uh, so-called 12 volt uh, lead acid battery is a pretty dumb battery. And it was used extensively in World War II in submarines. All the submarines back then were both diesel and electric. And you'd run on the surface with diesel or through the periscope with diesel. And then when you were underwater, you had to run on electric because if you tried that diesel, you'd use up all your air in a hurry. So they were powered by giant lead acid batteries. And of course, over the period of war, just about everything that could be learned about those batteries was learned about those batteries. One of the first things they learned was don't ever, ever, ever let salt water get inside one of those batteries. It was not pretty. Now, this is different. This is different. It is a maximum PowerPoint tracking uh, battery, okay? Uh, you put your solar panel in here and you've got your 12 volts out here and this you connect your lithium iron battery. Uh, what this does, it's called a model WS-M300-14.6V. Okay, solar controller, maximum power point tracker. Now, the, uh, the thing that is cool about this is that the PV input can be anywhere from 20 to 50 volts. So you can easily handle a 24 volt uh, solar panel, which is kind of what you get these days. It's hard to get a 12 volt solar panel, but getting a 24 volt solar panel is fairly easy. And so this converts it to 14.6 volts. Now, in order to understand a little bit about how this works, and why this works, and why this is such a cool little device. I just want to show you something on the whiteboard. So if you have your solar panel here, okay, it's 24 volt, and you bring it down to the uh, charger, okay, this ranges from uh, 24 to about 38 volts. It goes quite a ways. Uh, and let's see, this thing maxes out at 50 volts. Okay. So the charger and out of it is a voltage source at 12, I'm uh, sorry, 14.6 volts. Now that's too high for a lead acid battery. So you don't want to try charging your lead acid batteries with this thing. But that's just perfect for a lithium iron phosphate battery like uh, the kind that you can get from bio you know, solar or from a lot of people i got this sticker from bio no power um, at the uh, ham fest okay now what is not made obvious in here is that there is another device in the circuit 
and it's actually built into the battery. And this thing up here is called the battery management system or BMS. Okay, and what this does is it manages the cells that are in this battery, manages them individually, okay, and it will feed them current. Because that's how you charge a lithium iron phosphate cell is by putting a fixed current into there. The battery management system takes care of this. It takes 14.6 volts and it sends it to a current source. Okay, and you can wire uh, components fairly easy so that it's a constant current and it charges the battery in here. As the battery gets closer to uh, its full charge, the amount of current that flows into the battery will drop until it finally gets down to a very small amount. Now I checked this once by taking my, okay, I set the, the bench power supply at 14.6 volts. Okay, and I'm gonna connect these up into this battery here. And the battery management system is now taking three three amps, but look how rapidly that's going down because the battery management system, which is right on the top of this battery here, manages the amount of current that goes into the cells until they are at the right voltage. And note, 14.6 in, then this will find a steady state current and you see that it's gradually dropping as we get closer to full charge. So this is how you charge a lithium iron phosphate cell right here. You apply 14.6 voltage and let the battery management system in here do the rest, okay? So it's actually fairly simple to charge. All right, so let's unhook that and go back over here. So what this does is it provides 14.6 out. We can look at what is on the leads here. PV input is on this one with the odd color. And this one right here is 14.6 volts right here, which would plug into your lithium iron battery. Now note the current ratings on this thing. Um, doesn't say. <laughs> It'll provide uh, the power, the voltage at the amperage that it wants. Okay, impulse electronics. Now, if we look in here at, um, let's see, technical data. Well, these are different kinds of battery supplies. Let's look at um, battery chargers and accessories. And we find this one. This is one I've talked about before. I'm not finding this one. Solar products. Okay. Here it is right here. Okay, it says 27. 95 it's a 150 watt solar uh, charger and let's see it takes maximum power point transfer input can range from 16 to 25 volts okay this is a different one this is a different one is this the one okay charger for lithium iron phosphate batteries it's got the power pole connectors on it Okay, and it tells you quite a bit about it. The input voltage is anywhere from 20 to 50 volts. Now, 12 volt panel is not going to give you 20 volts, but if you put two 12 volt panels in series, it will. Or you can use a 24 volt panel. Now, I would not put in there a 48 volt panel because the max voltage will go way over that 50. 
okay? And uh, this is the uh, maximum power, 300 watts, maximum current, 24 amps, okay? So you can charge your hefty RV battery, whatever, with this thing uh, without a problem if it's a lithium iron phosphate battery, okay? And it says it's a maximum power point uh, transfer rated at 300 watts. So this will do very well. And that is this panel, or this one right here. Um, let's see, the product description is right here. And you can see it's the, the same sort of thing. It's the same price as uh, the other one right there. It's M S C MPPT 314.6 volts. Okay. So this is what you get. Okay, so interesting little thing that I picked up. It's very small, as you can see. If it's in the palm of my hand, it's potted back here. There are no adjustments. The potting um, allows the heat to get out better, um, that it gets through the outside here. And so this would be a great little solar charge controller for a fairly good sized lithium ion battery. Now, again, this is relying on the battery management system that is in the battery itself, okay? So there you have it, a very cool device from um, Impulse Electronics. You can go to them, they have just about every conceivable little device. Uh, last year, I reviewed a little power supply that was very similar to this that allowed you to choose the amount of current that you wanted to go into it so you could charge a battery like the small one a little more slowly if you wanted to or um, a smaller battery even with just uh, two amps. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you uh, would like to help this channel financially, please go to decastlercom slash support and find a way that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.